Great, thank you. Next up, we have Fitted Solutions in the Experiential Retail Quadrant. They're a virtual fitting tool based on smartphone image capture. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jonathan Gerber. I'm the CEO of Fitted Solutions. We're a mobile software company that's going to radically change the online buying experience for shoes, apparel, and accessories. Today, fit is the number one problem for buying apparel online. Now, the customers have learned just to accept it, but it's an expensive problem for the retailers. Eight billion dollars a year is being returned for improper fit. That eight billion is generating an additional two billion dollars of additional operating costs. In my company, we help fix that. We take the customer's favorite device, the mobile phone, and with just two clicks, we get you a perfect fit. You take two mirrored selfies, and it's uploaded to our cloud-based engine, and within six seconds, you get a precise, accurate to 98% measurement. That's one-tenth of an inch. Now, there's other solutions out there. We didn't invent this space but they're all focused on the back end. They're focused on 3D, um, 3D images of the shoes and the apparel or the predictive analytics where if you're a size 12 in product X, then you should be a size 13 in a product Y. What they're missing is the exact measurements of the user. Today, they ask you what you think you are by doing an online survey or download this measuring tape and, and try to measure yourself. Um, or my favorite, go see a tailor, which completely defeats the purpose of your online shopping experience. The customers expect more. They expect it to be smart, they expect it to be mobile, and they expect it to be fast. And that's what Fitted provides. With just two clicks to a perfect fit with your uh, customer's favorite device, the mobile phone. And here's Larry, our CTO, is going to show you how it's done. Welcome to Fitted Solutions. Let's take a picture of the side of your foot. When you're ready, say click. click. Okay, we've got a good picture of the side of your foot. Let's take a picture of the front of your foot. When you're ready, say click. click. Okay, we've got an image of the front of your foot, that's it. You're done. And here are your results. That's it. Questions? Um, so there are other solutions, like I think the one you were talking about, TrueFit. They actually don't make you scan or do any measurements. Uh, they'll just ask you, hey, which jeans do you like from your closet? And based on that, they'll say, hey, okay, I, I can guess what fits you the best. So those, I mean, aren't those better than doing the scan, even though it's a two-point scan? But they're not getting the exact measurements. They're getting what you know, a pair of pants that might fit you. Um, you know, for me, you know, I fluctuate in sizes. How do you draw um, the connection between, I mean, shoe size is pretty straightforward, but size six jeans, right? At J. Crew versus someone else versus Gap versus. So, so partnering with the different. retailers. Uh, so you need all the product specs as well? Correct. And for example, a TrueFit has a great back end with all that, um, that data, um, but what they're missing is the actual size on the front end. So we would work with either a TrueFit or so with a retailer. So if I were to take a picture for a selfie for, to get, see whether that a pair of jeans fit, what picture am I taking? So we have two products. Our first product, which is done today, is the, the foot. But his foot, uh, he has the naked foot there. So what if I want to see whether that jeans are going to fit? So then our second take? product is you're going to take a picture of yourself like this, and like wearing this. what? Um, wearing a pair of gym shorts and um, not a uh, tight fitted shirt. clothing. It has to be tight, tight fitted. Fitting clothing. Yeah, it, 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 that works only with tight fitted right. clothing. It's tight fitting, but it doesn't have to be. You're not in a, in a bra and and spandex. So when when brands first start out, they often mm -hmm. get their fit wrong. Um, their shoes are smaller than they should be. One brand I'm invested in called Native. Um, even Lululemon when I was there, you know, it was off. So basically you have to basically inventory what their typical, you know, size two, four, six is or in the shoes. And you're basically matching what that photograph was to what Native size eight really means. Because a size eight for Native is actually, you know, it's a size nine for most, peop right. most people. Okay, so that's what you're doing. Correct, so we're, we're gonna do, so the, um, 
the image, you, you'll get the results and it'll come out into a 3D image. Um, and that 3D image, working with the retailer, working with your company, we would have a, um, a 3D image of the shoe and overlap it to see if that actually fits. And over what time frame do you notice the decrease in returns? And, and can you give us, a time, give us a, a range of how far they've gone down? Let's say typical retailers' returns, if you've got bricks and mortar and online, you're looking at a return rate of about 10%. Um, but if you're only online, I think typical returns can be higher. So typical returns for apparel is um, 30%. Um, and sometimes for Zappos' best customers, it's sometimes up to 45%. Um, we, we, we just finished our product, so we haven't gone to the retailers yet, but we feel that if people start using the product, you're going to have immediate um, success, where rather than someone buying 10 pairs of shoes from Zappos, they might only buy a couple now because they know the exact fit. So there are many, many, many apps and people trying to figure out how to measure things using the phone. So a tenth of an inch is pretty good, right? But you don't need anything else, and that's where a lot of it is done by... Um, I'm just saying there might be other applications besides apparel, if you can get to less Thank than you, a tenth of an inch. Thank you,